hope you all are doing really well so this is a typical process of testing a banking application so wherein in this video i'm going to explain the banking application testing process so what all process you will be following as a testers in a banking firm what all process you're going to involve in what all testing you're going to do it uh, when you're working in a banking firm and a quick announcement uh there is an opening in a great bank like a banking firm if you want me to connect you with an hr for an opportunity of an interview do send me out an email i will help you out in connection with the hr and if your resume gets shortlisted you will get an opportunity for an interview for that you have to quick and today is the date of 14th march so if you are watching my video right away do send it out and uh, yeah like first come first serve i don't know till when we going to have that opportunity but if you are watching my video right now or uh, do send me an email saying that you want a referral with your resume uh, i'll get you get you in touch with an hr and uh, of that banking firm i think that will really help you out so yeah let's quickly go to the video so requirement gathering so testing process is start from the first phase of the sdic in the banking firm or usually in agile projects along with the business analysis testing team is also involved so the requirement gathering is the analysis of the requirements wherein you have the descriptions and the acceptance criteria so in that what happens is product owner or the business analysis give you their point of view what they expect from that requirement or from that user stories so it's more about their point of view why they have written it what they expect from us also they will be explaining you that this is what they will be expecting you to for, for the developers to develop and this is the acceptance criteria for the testers so in the initial phase also you will be doing a lot of analysis of the requirement and understand the requirements so uh, whereas in the traditional process like waterfall the testing teams come into the picture later once the requirement has been collected okay so for finance related a uh, banking projects the tester should have the adequate do domain knowledge why because if has the one page has has the changes so you should be able to understand what are other pages it will impact and that that's when you have to check all that pages having the same informations or same changes uh, will reflect in the other pages as well so that is the reason i think uh, main you should uh, you know domain knowledge is very important when you where and all it get affected if the new changes come in this is the one example and how to test an in and out of an application end to an application i think that is something which is if you have the domain knowledge you will understand the you will prioritize your work in terms of if you have the domain knowledge so i think these are the things that's why i'm always saying that if you don't have the domain knowledge just learn everything from the google or from my channel also there are a lot of stuffs out there so understand it and there are a lot of things you can understand from learning this thing so uh, the domain knowledge you can achieve while uh, learning it so if you don't never worked on you can uh, you can learn it from the uh, available sources out there in the into the market so at least not 100% but at least 15% 50% you can get it so the uh, you know from the google or everywhere so i just suggest you to uh, you know collect all the informations and absorb it if you are targeting the banking firm and um, okay tester should be able to think from both stakeholders and and to end user points of view in this phase analysis to gather information understand and review the requirements in addition they gain as much as domain knowledge as possible by the research or taking help from the smes and in your organization their subject matter expertise are also there you can also connect for your doubts uh, for this one if you are into the banking for if you are very new to the banking firm you can connect with your smes and you can clear your doubts so we also have the test planning so in the next phase the testing team proceed with a detailed pro planning of the testing process here yeah, the test plan test plan is created this include the scope of testing roles responsibilities test deliverables testing levels testing tools testing environment etc test scenarios and test case creations here the based on requirement document test scenarios test cases are created the testing team should be careful in covering each scenarios not only functional but also security performance and other non functional characteristics should be covered then we have a next video which is fun uh, next uh, next next point which is functional testing so after test case creation the testing team conducts a functional testing to make sure the features are implemented as per the requirements then we have functional testing checklist i think this is very important so check whether keeping check whether keeping mandatory fields empty show error message mandatory fields if you left the mandatory fields what all testing like if you are very new or beginner so how you want to test it so you have to you know mandatory field if you are not filling it and click on submit what will error message you are getting the spelling of the error message the font and everything you want to check it for example while transferring the money amount should not should be mandatory and cannot kept empty 
okay check whether all the field accept valid values and after entering an invalid value system shows an error message for example the account number field should not accept the special characters right so and the second one is check check whether all the fields have valid character limits for example the account number should only accept something now 9 to 16 or 9 to 18 so you have to uh, you have to do the boundary value analysis if it is 9 to 18 so you have to check 8 or 19 so here you will be doing boundary value analysis verify that all the links in the application are clickable and land on the desired page check whether all the buttons are clickable and work in the desired manner i think these are the functional checklist So now check whether all the calculations are performed in the desired manner. For example, after debit or credit transactions, the account balance should reflect the correct amount. Verify the scrolling functionality of an application. Check the application working in a flight mode. Uh, verify the application work working during the ongoing transaction, whether a phone call or SMS or other, any other notification are received for mobile application. So for mobile application also, you need to verify all those things. Uh, Check the application installation, uninstallation, and update process. So I think this is wherein when you're testing an app. Okay, so when you're testing an app, you, these are the things you want to have it into your system. So scrolling, there are a mix of uh, test cases or functionality check we have it here. So uh, like some of these you have to gonna cover. Now we have database testing. So database testing in testing uh, includes the testing front front end layer, business logic layer, and database. In this type of testing. Queries are executed and data flows in different tables is observed. The testing team is responsible for database testing. Should have the should have in depth knowledge of the database. So if you're going for the banking firm, banking firm or any financial firms, uh, I think SQL or database is very required. So I think uh, because they they have a lot of data, right? So they have to be uh, have have it into the database. So everyone should be well skilled into database testing. So uh, database testing includes a test. Uh, I have already done like checklist. We're going to have it. Uh, check whether the data is logically organized in the database. Check each field uh, field's data type and see whether it is a it, it is per the desired specifications. Verify the length on the front end side and then the database in the same. Check the values of the computed field example DOB and age. Check whether the naming convention should used in the database are uniform. Names of the tables, columns, store procedure, indexes. Verify that the data values are stored in the correct columns and tables. That this is very important. Like right? the data value what you are entering into the UI, it should be into the correct table. It should be stored in the correct table and correct column. Uh, okay. Now we also have the security test or uh, testing. I think we don't have. Okay, security testing checklist. So I've put into this one. So check whether the application has a proper process of authenticating the user on the platform. For example. Apart from user ID and password, user can be asked to enter a CAPTCHA. So whether check uh, whether multiple invalid logins are allowed, how many, verify that the forget password and forget user ID features have proper mechanism to recover the password in the user ID, verify the pass whether the password policies are strong, uh, check whether user IDs and passwords are encrypted, verify the application is a secure pot protocol that is HTTPS. Uh, check whether the sensitive information is display encrypted at the client side. I think these are the things which uh, you want to have the security testing check checklist. So I think that can be the question that can you tell me the security testing checklist? What do you want to test it while you perform the security testing in an application? So that can be questioned into of any of the banking interview. So I think these are the these this this is a mix and match of everything. Right? You should be knowing uh, and when you're working, you should be doing it. And this will also help you in your interview as well. Okay, so we have another one. Okay, check whether the sensitive information is display encrypted at the client side. Whether check whether the input validations are performed at the server side. Verify if the password are stored in cookies or not. Uh, check whether information stored in cookies is in the encrypted form. Check whether proper session timeout mechanism are placed. Example: After a few minutes of inactivity, the user should be logged out automatically. Uh, check application working when the user clears the cache and the user should be logged out. I think these are the very important checklist and there are some points, these are the test cases you're gonna have to cover. 
so while writing the test cases everything you should be knowing so if you have worked on you definitely have these many test cases so while seeing the application you don't understand what all should be covered and what all so you can refer this checklist for your testing now we also have the usability testing so any ba banking application will have a broad spectrum of users from tech savvy people for not to non technical friendly people so the goal of usability testing is to check the application working from all the user perspective see if the application is user friendly for all the types of users so you, you have to be have very easy going application wherein if people are not technically sound they can be like for us it will be easier but for for the people who are not much of into the technical now everyone is using the digital platform so they will be very like if you see phone pay it's very easy to send the money google pay is very easy to you know do any of the transactions so that's how that are very user friendly so you have to just click click and do that fill the amount and do it so i think that is something which is very uh, that is now we see, we are doing it and we find it very easy to to make it user friendly there are a lot of brain storming has been done by our it people and um, yeah so you have to see that thing and you have to suggest if you don't find if you find it difficulty doing any of the transaction uh, yeah now we have usability testing checklist so check whether the user is able to navigate through an application smoothly check whether buttons and links have uniform fonts colors and size verify that the whole application has uniform fonts text size color combinations yeah color combination is also necessary check whether important critical messages buttons are visible clearly on the page for example in the transaction process any important messages should be displayed clearly with the bigger fonts and dark colors if possible verify that the critical information is displayed without any grammatical errors so i think spelling mistakes and everything you have to check font size text these all things you should be check check whether the critical process of the application have a smooth and easily understandable steps for example for deposit account there has a separate menu out items wherein user can manage all the deposit of the accounts check whether each page has a title verify that the all links and buttons have the text that is easy to understand verify whether error message of the fields are easy to understand check whether all important fields have place holders and tool tips okay um now we also have the performance testing performance testing is a non functional testing so the goal of the performance testing is to check application performance under severe load and stress so a lot of people do the transaction on the daily basis at the same time and if you see the transaction are happening like anything so most of the time when we have a common thing like people are buying things on the sales like many times our e-commerce website does have the sales and people are buying like anything so the transaction happens like anything so that time the load and see when a severe load and the stress will be there into the application so check the application performance when multiple user log in at the same time and use a different functionality check application performance when multiple user log in at the same time and uses the same functionality for example all the user try to transfer the money verify the application performance when the device battery is low check application performance when the device battery is high okay these are things does impact your application App check application performance when the device is charging verify the application performance when the user is try to use the same functions multiple times in a defined period okay for example the user try to transfer the money for the same account to different account within an hour like they they'll be doing two three transactions right i'll be transferring this money this money that money so most of the time it happens and um, we that's how that performance testing you should be covering i think we should be having user acceptance testing so in this step the client to the end user of this system usually representative of her clients test the systems to get an assurance that an application will run smoothly as per the desired behavior in real world scenarios apart from the above mentioned phases there are many other important phases we include these in the testing process of a banking application such as regression testing smoke testing compatibility testing etc and the sanity testing also also user acceptance or uh, testing challenges so bank application have multiple users in the range of millions simulating such a high number of users may create a challenge for testing team testing team can go for automation tools for uh, performance testing as there are multiple users all the users will be using different devices connections operating systems testing on each combination of devices os and connection is a complex and a time consuming process so testing bank application need an extra care and time as it deals with money and the sensitive information checking from all the security perspective and covering all the security testing scenarios is very critical 
these are the challenges okay when you ask like what are the testing challenges you faced it while testing your banking application so these are the challenge you can tell tell them last but not least another important challenge is to test an application for a rollback mechanism if there is a failure in the system okay that happens right oh, i i i got that there was some i think 35 lakhs credited into my account i think some time back so i think that is something the rollback that takes one day of their time and they freeze everyone's account and then they revert the process they revert the amount and then defreeze it they worked on this thing why it is failing there will there, there was a happens that that happens in sgfc i think a lot of people get uh, some good amount of money even some people i didn't got the message but i think most of the people have got the text also that that amount has been credited in their account so i think some people have used it so they have to balance out everything so there are a lot of rework has there are a lot of work has been increased and uh, yeah so bank application allow utility payments and many other many other third party integrations uh, like we have the third party integration which is phone pay google pay testing them will be a challenge for the testing team as each integration is a different that is also a challenge okay so i think yes we are done with this video thank you guys thank you for watching i have not put in the subscribe thing but you guys have to subscribe my channel and stay tuned for my next video and thank you so much for watching i think this video is really help you out and if you want to take a snap of any of the checklist definitely take it and just try to test more of a banking application and if you can see it your internet banking you can see your application and see what all they have done it i think that is really helpful for you in terms of clearing the interview uh, yeah stay tuned for my next video thank you so much guys all the best bye